want to obviously we're going to give um, Ohio a little bit of time to kind of settle down, get warm up, all that good stuff. Um, just, just because, um, just because you know, they need they they kind of need that rest. Uh, so once again, uh, we're just gonna just very briefly kind of just go over um, what's going on. Obviously, the standings were the standings at the time. Some information may have changed, but. Again, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so once again, um, just to kind of recap, head-to-head -head matchup between Ohio University and JMU, 7-16 in the country right now. Of course, what just happened in overtime, that may have switched things around to where Ohio 6, JMU 7, we don't know. Um, I would check um, the detailed standings. Um, to kind of see if it is being updated in real time. And if it is, you know, we might be able to change the graphics um, very, very soon uh, to kind of just show, like, in real time, like, what some of these numbers, you know, currently looking like. Uh, these numbers were current as of last night around 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, <clears throat> Oh, okay. So apparently JMU is now doing backhand throws. Whatever. Don't care. Um, JMU, they never lost against Ohio. 3 0. Um, again, in terms of winning points wise, JMU is at roughly 60%. Um, Ohio is roughly around 54%. In terms of wins against the region, um, JMU have roughly 69% winning percentage against the Ohio region. Um, and I know that number four, Ohio, just changed because they just won against UVA. So it should be above 55%. <clears throat> Excuse me. As we mentioned beforehand, we didn't get a chance to see it on this stream, <clears throat> but I was able to see it in person. Um, players to watch. As we were mentioned beforehand, um, Terrence Checkett um, came in, ranked as the preseason number one player in the country, a.k.a. your MVP, first-team All-American, all that stuff. Um, hometown is in Lakewood, Ohio. Um, like I said before, favorite quote, we are all even on somebody's story. Yeah, it's, it's easy. I got you. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, he he was the villain against UVA. He wants to be the villain again against another East Coast opponent. This time against JMU, uh, preseason regional overtime six. Um, last year he was second team All American, and he was the All Ohio. He was also on the All Ohio regional team. And then for JMU, uh, player to watch is going to be Eli Lovella. Uh, who is also a captain for JMU. Um, hometown, 757. Yorktown, Virginia, El Presidente. Um, he's also a proud member of the JMU Snowboarding and Ski Club. And like I was mentioned beforehand, the Massanano Resort is only about 20, 25 minutes away from here. It's a great opportunity for those who want to do snowboarding, skiing, and my personal favorite, snow tubing. They also got some really delicious German food. Um, definitely a big friend of the bratwurst and um, and the pommel frites, uh, which is German uh, for French fries. So, like I said before, we got all that information out the way, got all our promo stuff, and now we should be getting with the match momentarily. Should be situated. All right, so hopefully, scoreboard should be cooperating more with me in this particular match. And if not, we'll just fix it after each point. <clears throat> 
So, not a big deal. Got Terrence doing his stretching. My goodness, that man is athletic. All right, let's get started. All right, and we're off. And right off the back. The JMU play goes down there. Oh, my God. That's going to get crazy. Several pump fakes. No dice. And balls over immediately goes against JMU. That's been awesome. All right, so let's see. 20, 41. Yikes, that is, <laughs> that is, that is not the start of, if you're JMU, man. That's, that's not that's not what you want. Got him. Good kill right there on the left hand side. I'm pretty sure that was and another kill on the right hand side. Took no time whatsoever. Ooh. All right, good throw right there by Van Fleet. Oh, and we also got my man Jones back. Oh, yep, he got hit. Nope, you got it. Do not cheat. Don't don't do that. Don't cheat, man. Don't don't do that. You got hit, sir. All right, Shaver try to go after check it. No dice there. Bam, please with the oh and and bam. Two v one combo right there for my man. Terrence check it. Got the kill against Schaefer and got the catch, bringing one of his teammates back in. Just like that, Ohio is really feeling themselves, and rightfully so. Also, good to see number 47, Jones, back on the court. He's a great catcher for them. He will bait you. Oh, he will bait you to throw at him. And more times than not, he will catch you out. I've seen this man happen. Evan Essenberg, um, Went from being a commentator to now a coach, officially or unofficially. Um, but yeah, this will be this will be a good match. Ooh, all right, Eli safe. Eli safe there. Mm, that was close. Ooh, bullet shot. Got him. All right, hold on. Let me fix the time real quick. My apologies. Like I said, you gotta love technology sometimes. All right, we good. Rivera with the throw. He got the kill. Like I said, Rivera, Rivera's gonna be one of your players to watch for JMU. Terrence Checker has already have put his stamp on this tournament thus far in overtime against UVA, getting the dub against them four to three. He was one of the very few players left. That's a kill against number five, Household. All right, so let's see who we have left for JMU. We got number 16, Floss. We got number 23, Rivera. Uh, we got a JMU kid with no name. We got 24. We got 24, and that is, uh, that is not Shaver. That's somebody else. We'll get his name later. Oh, no, my apologies, 26. 26 should be on the roster. Oh, that's a uh, that's cheese boy, Jeremy Cheese boy. Ah, he just missed. And we're back. Oh, no, 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 we're very safe. We're very safe. He's a, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Hawk. He's fine. Floss just made a catch, saving him. So team catches are no longer a thing in the, in, in the NCD. And well, let me take that back. It is a thing, but in the past, a team catch will bring a teammate back in. This time, it just brings. It just keeps everyone safe. Timeout was called. Timeout was called by JMU. So, yeah, so in the past, team catches 
brought a teammate back in. The throw was not out. But now team catches, it doesn't bring anybody. It, it doesn't bring a new person in, right? But it saves your teammate. All right, so let's see. We're at the 21-13 mark. All right, good. All right, we're good now. All right, so we got three players left. A JMU kid uh, with no name, well, no jersey, unfortunately. Uh, we have Rivera and we have Floss. On the other side, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Ohio lost more than like three players. All right, so JMU's on a ten count. They have to throw it for ten seconds. Um, Ohio, on the other hand, they only have to throw once every 15 seconds. So at some point, that's a good kill right there. Take it out, Logan. Easy money. Easy money for Eli. Like I said, he's going to be one of your players to watch. He's not out. Oh, but Jones? Did Jones get my man out? Okay, Jones, I see you in the gym putting in that good work. Jones got a, Jones got a power throw down. They're going immediately after Floss now. Or not. Woo! All right, he's safe. He's safe. Good try. Oh, got him by the foot. Oh, wait, no. My apologies. That's not. I thought um, Ben's man had him. Oh. Yeah, number 11 just gave himself up easily for that catch. Uh, Eli's still safe. Needs a catch though. That got him. Alright, so kid with no name is Jack Meyer. Good to know. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so um so Chris, um your best friend is a villain at JMU. He is a villain. Um it is what it is. He he accepts the villain role. Um, he's cool with it. Um, but yeah, he's he's been a villain uh, to JMU for a for a minute now. Yeah, they cool. Yeah, um, it should work. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Good stuff, Will. Good stuff. The JMU faithful are trying to hype up their, trying to hype up the team. They're trying. All right, here we go. Patrick, Patrick should be safe. No, he's out. And immediately, Ohio is going, going right after JMU. Immediately. Yeah, Rivera just got out of that exchange. All right, Trent Schaefer trying to get, trying to get a kill right there on the, on the right, on the right side. Well, yeah, right side of Ohio, left side of JMU. You, you know what? Ooh, yeah, and cheese and cheese bro goes down that exchange. He was protecting his captain Schaefer in that exchange. Ooh. Also, Jones is also deceptively athletic. Can't understate that by a minute. And incredibly shifty. Not easy. Good dodge right there by Lowe. Team throw. Ooh, Schaefer with the full man catch. Bringing back his El Presidente, number 23, Eli Lovera. Big catch taking out his counterpart, Terrence Checker. Big catch. Ooh, 16. Oh, so 16 is the, is the young man with the strong arm. Okay. Miller, the freshman. Okay, so you, you're, the, you're, the, you're the future of Ohio. Okay. You're the future. The same way how I felt towards Terry Checker when he was a freshman. I see that's how we want to feel towards you, bro. We got two heavyweights pretty much just throwing straight gas against one another. 
Okay, well, Donald was just over jealous of that one. Here comes Mills with the throw. We got a pop ball. We need a fresh one. Yeah, we're going to be loot. Yeah, I think we're going to lose at least about. All right, guys. In the comment section, over under four pop balls in this match alone. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go with six. Whoa, drop catch. Did he step? No, Logan's safe. Oh, big catch right there by Garrett. Um, and then a counter catch right there by number 27. Taking out number 11 of Ohio. Like I said, two heavyweights just trading blows against one another. Yeah, that was good catching right there, Ryan. Good stuff, man. Oh, and Eli goes down that chance. Great kill right there by Garrett. All right, Joe. Joe by himself. All right. Reset throw. Oh, got him. No, 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 no. No. It got you out first, man. Yeah, I know. And I hate saying that, too, as a commentator, but, like, Ryan could not get that catch. But, no, um, the Ohio player won that exchange first. Also, appreciate those in the comments, you know, giving me names for players that are currently not on the roster. I appreciate you. Or at least who doesn't have a jersey. Much appreciated. All right, he's by himself. They're, cre they're creeping. Got him. Goodness gracious. Anytime that James is trying to just trying to generate any offense, Ohio is immediately gunning them down with the swiftness. Good kill right there. Good kill right there by number five of James. Household. Yeah, that was a good kill. All right, let's see what Patrick Swall is about to do. Oh, I think that hit him. I'm not for sure. It's beginning to feel a little stressful right now, even for me. There's not a lot of tournaments. Ooh, that's a great bullet shot right there. That's a great bullet shot. Yeah, we'll go down that chain. There's not a lot of tournaments that gives me anxiety. This is probably like one or two tournaments that will give me anxiety and for good reason. The the tension is very thick right now. It's beginning to get a little bit louder. And that tension is only going to grow by every single second. Let's see what Donna's about to do. Oh, man. Innocent bystander just got clapped. Hey, but hey, he protected his wife, though. That's a win. That's a win. Reset throw right there by Checker. Oh, we missed that on the stream, but Household with the kill. Oh, Donna goes down. Fans are getting into it now. Good job right there by Household and, and, uh, and Jack right there. All right, seemed like he's going against Household. Oh, he couldn't snag it. All right, let's see what Floss about to do. He, he can take him. He can take him. Floss is also deceptively, um, like, athletic. He looks like he's stiff. But he's very flexible and nimble. Don't let, the, don't, don't let him, don't let the look deceive you. Oh, he tried it, and Gary couldn't snag it in. Oh, high riser, Miller just missed him, but not by much. And just like that, three players left for Ohio. They are now on the ten count. JMU, if they lose another player, they will be on the ten count. As we're about to hit the 13 minute mark in the first half. So we got Miller, we got Check It, we have number 10, who is, my apologies, give me one minute, gotta see this first. Number 10, 
Oh, is oh, that's a cool name. Rowdy, Rowdy Murray. Okay. Just like the just like the Rowdy Ram. But that's cool. Alright, so we got Miller checking and uh, Murray. And that is not gonna work. Miller has to throw. That will work. Oh! Catch it out. Catch it out. So Cheesy goes, Cheeseboro goes down. That brings back number Jones. Check it also goes down. It's now a 4v, well, not a 4v4. It's actually 4v3. JMU still has a man advantage, but I believe both teams are now in the 10 count. Oof. Oof. We're now about to hit the 12 minute mark momentarily. Easy catch. Drop catch. They're going after him. Woo! And there it is. JMU with their first point. Oh, yeah. It's going to get good now. <laughs> it's going to get good. And just like that. The tension and anxiety level just went up tenfold. <laughs> nice. Nice. Game is tied. Game is tied. It's been it's been fun. Like I said, this is without a shadow of a doubt my favorite tournament in the entire league, and for good reason. This is a fun tournament. It's a very fun tournament. It's a very stressful tournament, but it's a fun tournament. All right, so we got 11:49 left in the first half. Woo! Logan goes down. Eli with the catch. With the catch. And he is hyped. That is El Presidente, JMU president, and one of your captains as well. You love to see it. You love to see it. And like I said, now the intensity had just went up tenfold once again. I'm telling you, man, this anxiety. <laughs> Whew. It's, I can feel it on the court. I can feel it. All right, reset throw right there by number 11. No dice. Eli's pushing up. Schaefer pushing up. Reset throw by both teams. It seems like the rest were allowed it for both. Ooh! Hoo -hoo! Patrick Swall with the grown man tech. Grown man catch. Take it out, number 12, Sean O'Donnell. As Patrick is feeling very comfortable right now at the front line. Ooh! I think that may have got him, and it did. That's some good strategy right there by JMU. They staggered their team throw successfully, caught my man sleeping on a job. And just like that, they're building a nice little positive momentum. Long reset throw. Woo! Patrick could have snagged that one. But someone on the right side, I think it was Joe, took it out number one over higher on that chain. This is a different pace from JMU. Normally, they just kind of, they want to gun down their opponents, but they were taking a more conservative approach. Woo! Shoestring catch by Ryan. Take it out, number 88, Garrett. As we're hearing, the flag horns coming in. And that's not going to count. Round. Woo! Innocent bystanders about to get clapped into next week. Oh, and Rivera gets his ball back. It seems like he was playing on the emotions of Joe. And there's Go Floss with his first, well, not his first catch, but a big catch right there. Take it out, Terry Check it, be across. Try to catch my man sleeping, 
and Floss was ready for him the whole time. Ooh, got him. Yes, that's a kill. That's a kill. 18 with the kill against number 22 of Ohio. And just like that. Woo! And we missed it on the stream. But Floss made an easy catch against number 47 Jones. Making it look way too easy. And just like that, Ohio is back on the 10 count. Ooh, no, no, ooh, ooh, whoa, did he? It's ground, and they, and they, and he respects it. Two players left. Wow. Whoa, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Now let's just, oh God, the tension just went up by a hundred fold now. It's going to get more and more crazier. Let me just explain something to you real quick. Miller made an amazing throw. That was not a weak throw by him by no means. That was a bullet shot with the intent to kill. Ryan, though, just snagged that ball like a baby in a cradle, man. Just, just secure it, man. My goodness. And just like that, JMU takes the early lead two to one. Oh my God. All right, so 17 seconds, eight minutes. Cool. And JMU with the point. Wow. Sheesh. Ah, uh, no, clock is 18.17. All right, cool. Like I said, technology is something else, man. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work for whatever reason. Sheesh. Anywho, uh, wow. Whew, yeah, tension just went up, man. Tension just went up by 100 for once again. Sheesh. Score is two to one in favor of JMU. All right, and we all. Bullet shot by Eli. Floss with the rebound catch. Like I said, player to watch. Ooh, and he's talking trash now. Now we're getting the JMU action. All right, two throws not successful for JMU. Ah, uh, Eli playing the Miller. Sorry, Lavella playing the middle all by himself. Not an easy job playing in the middle. That's a tough job for anybody. But Eli is up for the challenge. We're about to hit the 7.30 mark now. All right, Cheeseboro with the throw. Reset throw. It's fair, it's fair. I think team throw should be coming up on a, well, spoke way too soon as O'Donnell pretty much did the reset throw himself, which was good. Gave his team an opportunity to get back safely. Let's see what Shapes about to get into. Oh, that's an easy catch for Jones. You can't, you can't do that. That's, that's way too easy for Jones. Again, too easy for Jones. Second catch, back to back in under 15 seconds. Nope. Ryan could not snag it. Great kill right there by Miller. Just like that, JMU just lost three players in under 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, Joe could not recover after that first, after that first throw. He was on the ground and Ohio just made him pay. Good reset throw right there by Vince, man. Eli with the throw. He caught somebody. And Joe's going out of that a change. Woo! But then immediately, check it responds. Immediately. Ooh, 
Good block. It's a good block. It's a good block right there. We're now under six minutes. That's a high throw right there by Hosman. But householding. I'm surprised the ref counted that. That almost seemed out of reach. Ooh! Yes. Easy. Well, not quite as easy, but still, nevertheless, 69 with the great catch. Take it out with Bell without a change. Damn, you hate to see it. Four goes down without a change. Hate to see it. Fireball. Great catch. And he waved him goodbye. Wow. The disrespect continues. Oh, that brought him floss. Oh, this is good for JMU. This is really good. Woo! Ooh. Actually, I think that brought back in Schaefer. The catch brought back in Schaefer. All right, that's what's up. Nah, I ain't going to count. That will. Got him. Great job right there by um, Van Fleet. Actually, two JMU players just went down on that chain. Three players. Well, oh, Jesus. Floss couldn't snag it. Timeout's call. Probably a good timeout call right there by Schaefer. 4 14 left in the first half. Holy smokes. All right, so four. 14. Reset. Nice. Nice. Nah, no, no, no worries. We good. We good. It, it gets, like I said, everything, everything's fine, Leo. It just, it gets a little stressful in here. It, it, it really does. It, like I said, there's only like one, maybe two tournaments that will like give me full blown anxiety and excitement. This is one of them. Any other tournament? Fine, cool, collective, calm. No stress. Even if things not working, no stress. This tournament, stress over 9,000. It's, it's crazy. But everything's good, so let's get it popping. That's not going to work. Oh, that will work. Wow. All right, so JMU has two balls. They have no time. No shot clock. Whew. That was crazy. So, whoever's in the audience, can you help me figure out who this 99 is? Because I know um, it's not what you call it. I know it's not Spear, but just kind of help me out, please. I appreciate it. Woo! I don't know how Patrick kept his foot in, but he did somehow. Jeez! Oh, no! He's, yeah, he's out. Because he had nothing in bounds. You got to have at least one foot, one arm, one body part in bounds. And because he slid out of bounds, he's out. So now it's just Patrick and Schaefer left for JMU. Sheesh! I'm going to try to do another team throw. JMU does not have to throw. They only have two balls. And I think, okay. The moment that ball, okay, now they're going to have to throw. Oh, that's too easy. God. You can't do that. Schaefer is beside himself, and he reached. And just like that, the score is now two. Oh, oh, oh he's not out. Okay, my bad, my bad. I thought Patrick Schwab got hit, but he's safe. So my apologies for that. Ah, well, he's definitely out now because he either got hit or he slid out of bounds. Just like that, the game is now tied to a piece with exactly two minutes and 21 seconds left. However, that time will be added to the second half. So now the new time will be 27 minutes 
and 21 seconds. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, we're good. All right, so far, so good. I think, I think we're good. Ooh. Yep. Mike's a little bit too loud now. Crap. Uh, bullet shot. Straight bullet shot taking out Eli Rivera in that exchange. Wow. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a problem. It was just peaking just a little bit too loud. All right, we, sh we should be good. I'll be back. Yeah, it was just peaking just a bit too much. Sorry about that. Okay, we should be good now. We should be good. Great catch right there. Great catch right there. Much needed by Joe. Much needed. Mm, team throw not successful. Check it. We'll get the ball back. Uh, check is already back talking to the fans. We know we know what happened last time when he was doing this. Uh oh. Ah oh, crap! Hold up, sorry. There we go. That hit him. Yep. Great kill right there by Check it, taking out his counterpart, Prince Schaefer. Much needed. That's not gonna work. That that's not a reset throw. That will. Oh no! He couldn't snag it. And Joe's going out of that change. There we go. Uh, it's getting fun now. Woo! Everyone's safe. Whoa, a little behind the ball action, okay. Good block. Yeah, that's a good block right there, but I check it. Whoa, got him, caught him. They got Ryan sleeping, man. You hate to see it. Oh, you hate to see if you game here. Ooh, Miller with the kill. Ooh, they tried to go after him. They couldn't get him. Ooh, Patrick wanted it. 
Oh, easy catch for Miller, and he's hype for good reason. Yeah, man, Miller is the future for Ohio. No questions asked. He is the future of this squad. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God! Caught it between the legs. He can't do no wrong. And we caught that in 1080, baby. This man can't do any wrong. Oh, man. It's his game, man. It's his game, and we're just in it right now. It's his world, man. We're just living in it right now. We are literally in the matrix. Drop catch by Garrett. Jamie has two balls. They do not have to throw. Team throw, not successful. They do get one of the balls back. And he knew. Knew that was a catch. Knew that was a catch. So I think Jamie has two lines. I might be wrong. Let me check it out real quick. Oh, that got him. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Jack, sorry. That was Jack with the kid. My apologies. Good reset throw right there. Good reset. O'Donnell, that's, that shouldn't count. Oh, they will count it. That's, eh, okay. Ground. Oh, that was close. That, re that, that reset counter throw was almost on point. O'Donnell with a reset throw in his zone against Walsh. No dice. Patrick by himself. He's going to let it fly. Good throw right there by Patrick Swan. Jack, Floss, Cheeseboro, and Swan. Last four players left. The JMU. He made a cast. It should count. It should count. It's a count. What are you saying? He says a count. It will count. It is a catch. They will count the catch. They will count the catch. Oof. That brings back Rivera. But bam, Patrick just drew a catch. But Rivera's back in the game. T. Oliver. Roman catch right there by T. Oliver. More reset throw. No dice. Three players left for JMU. Team throw. Woo! Start successfully. Logan with the big pump that got easy catch. Easy catch. Another catch for JMU. Back to back. Team catch. Oh, but that's a kill. That is a kill. It, yeah, he called him out. He called him out. I need you to get excited, people. It's that time. Alright, we need we need we need an official timeout. Crowd's getting into it now. Oh yeah. Man, that was crazy. 1934. We have an official time. It's getting crazy. Yeah, so timeout, official timeout. It's crazy. So, yeah, Ohio was definitely leading the momentum at this particular point. JMU found a way to come back. Big catches right there by number 26, Jeremy Cheeseboro, as well as number 16, Nick Floss. All right, we're just going to get right into it. And James, you're just going to allow Ohio to get that ball. Pump fake. Ooh, he reached. Team throw on the right-hand side was successful. Now, James, you only has one ball. They do not have a shot clock. Ah, got him. Got him. They should get at least one of those balls back. Yeah, he can get it back. James, you has two balls, still has no shot clock. No shot clock. JMU still has no shot clock. Team, team, up, team, up. team throw should be coming on the left now. Oh, he had it! And just goes right out of bounds. You hate to see it for Haas, for household. Sorry, household. You hate to see it. Oh, God. Here it comes. Woo! 
Uh oh. Not bad. Not bad, Rivera. Not bad. All right, Eli. Cross. Cheeseboro. Last. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's number four. My apologies. That's Fireball. My bad. Surprisingly enough, that will count. But, again, JMB only has two balls. So once this third ball comes in, now the shot clock will start. Now it starts. Jamie only got two balls. There's no clock. There's no clock. He's safe. Oh, that got him. Good reset. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Looks like a timeout was called. Hold up. That was a good timeout. All right, so I'm pretty sure that was Ohio timeout. It is 17.38. Okay. Oh boy, sheesh. All right, and we're back. Hold on. Woo! E no, that's not easy. That nothing about that catch was easy. That was a hard catch. Two players left for JMU. Great catch right there by number ten, Murray. That ain't gonna work. That will. Too high. Not Eli's catch. Brown. So he's safe. Ooh, did he catch him? I think he did. No, he did not. Far Flaws may have gotten that kill, but apparently I was mistaken. Drop catch by Fan Fleet. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, team left coming straight for Floss. He's still safe. All right, Rivera's going to make the throw. That'll work. That'll reset throw, this time by Miller. Now Eli with his own reset throw. This is a long point. Oh! Big kill right there by Bestman. One play left to beat. Nick Flops needs a catch. Needs a catch. Needs a catch. Here it comes. Oh, no, he could not get it. He could not get it at all. So 15, 19 left in this half.
And it looked like my man Trent Schaefer, man, needs a new pair of shoes, man, because that, that right shoe, man, is, is fighting for his life. He beat that shoe down to a pulp. My goodness. Alright. Alright, let's get into it. Reset throw by both teams. Schaefer try to go right after O'Donnell, but no dice. Van Fleet by himself on the left hand side. He now got some help. Terrence check it with a long, well, not long, but just long for him. Reset throw. Woo! Somebody got slapped. Dang! Back to back kills for Ohio. And I'm pretty sure we missed that headshot against Schaefer. You hate to see it. Probably good for JMU. You didn't see that headshot. But yeah, that was a full blown felony right there. That was a very disgusting headshot right there. My goodness. Did not pan the camera quick enough. Great kill right there by number 18. No, he got out checking. Sorry, buddy. The low throw from 18 was successful. All right, reset throw by both teams. Joe pushing. Here comes his counterpart. Oh, Jones is pretty much calling Eli out. He basically just told Eli, you ain't gonna throw it at me. Eli's, uh, Eli's like, yo, chill, just chill. Ah, uh, Ryan couldn't snap that catch, not this time. Oh, Miller with another grown man catch. And now Jones telling his team to settle now. Ah, no dice. Ooh, but there's a kill shot. Oh! No, he would not get it. Woo! All right, so both teams just training kills now. Joe with the grown man throw against O'Donnell. Jamie Krause trying to get the team fire up, but Jamie needs some catches now. Oof. Sheesh. Another catch for Miller. That is a grown man. I know he's only a freshman, but that's a grown man right there, ladies and gentlemen. Terrence, check it. Oh, no, 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 no. It got him first. It, yeah, 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 we're on it. Yeah, hi, he's on it, man. Yeah. Check it, one that it changed first. That's why he's still in. Oh, got him by the foot. Yes, sir. And that's another kill for JMU. Fan Fleet goes down that exchange. JMU's not going down quietly within this point. And the tension and anxiety just went up by a thousand. And I can no longer hear myself think clearly anymore. We have lost that point. It's a lost cause. We're now in the trenches of this tournament. We're just getting started. We're now past the 11.30 mark. All right, let's see what Household is about to do. He's going to try to do a reset throw. But I'll wait for his teammates to get up first. Not bad. 5v5 for both teams. Next team who lose a player, they will go on the 10 count. Eighteen step over. Ooh! Now both teams are on the ten count. Let's 
close. Pump fake. Shot clock should be the same. It should be the same. Woo! Oh, he couldn't snag it. Woo! What a bullet shot. Two players left for JMU. Three players left for Ohio. Miller, what you got for me? What you got for me, Miller? Let me see something. Let me see something, Miller. What you got for me, young man? What you got for me, Miller? Seem like the coordinator of the team, bro. They're going after Householder. That ain't going to work. All right, I see what's going on. They're forcing JMU to get a shot clock. And they did. Woo! Got him with the kill. 2v2, Householder with the grown man kill. That would not work. Ball's over in favor of JMU. We're now at the 934 mark. Yeah, that was absolutely smart by Householder to throw the ball the way that he did, knowing that his opponent was going to try to make a catch. Basically threw it out of reach. 2v2 situation. All right, so now it's just Jack and Householder. Team throw coming up. Here it comes. Oh, he starts successfully. Oh, timeout. Okay. Last timeout for um, Ohio. I don't think they have anymore. No, that was smart. That was smart. All right, so no more timeouts. Six. Sorry, 922. It was a distraction. No, that should have counted. No, wait a minute. Hold on. That's, hold up. What, okay, hold up. What just happened? No. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. So that stunt, well, I wouldn't call it a stunt. But basically, whatever just happened, that kill was negated. I don't know what. I, I think I I think I can explain on what happened, but I can't really explain on how it happened. Um, so JMU put a ball on Ohio side of the court, I believe, in an attempt to invoke, sorry, to provoke a shot clock against Ohio. Matt Skeet Rosinski was not buying it at all. Then immediately afterwards, JMU was still was on a 10 count because they had more than two balls, threw the ball, hit number 10 successfully, but the refs are saying, nah, doesn't count. So we're kind of like in this weird little twilight zone right now. Can't really explain what happened. Outside of that, because I don't have I don't have the rule book in front of me. So we're having a long discussion about this, because like I said, depending upon how things are going to go, it's going to be two v two or it's going to be two v one in favor of JMU. So this is kind of a big call.
All right. So what do we got here? Oh, nah, crap. This is a good. Uh, I, okay. Uh, hey, Dylan, Fetty, I know you're listening. We got a question. Okay, so we got a little bit of context. Person dropped the ball on the other side. So JMU player dropped the ball on a higher side. They're giving them a yellow card. Is that player out? Could you please answer that question? That is what is currently in discussion right now. I see why now the clock was being stopped entirely. So GMU tried to put a ball on Ohio side to provoke a 10-second shot clock for Ohio since Ohio only had two balls. Matt immediately stopped the time immediately and was saying, can't do that. That was provoke a yellow card. Okay, so... All right, so we got something from Dylan. So Dylan said, should have been an immediate yellow card for setting the ball just over the line. No out. All right, so Dylan, is that an out, though? Because we got the yellow card situation, but is he out? Okay, so Adam Pfeiffer saying, yes, player's out, but I need to hear it from Dylan. Dylan Fetty in this case. All right, so whoever got the yellow card is out for the current point in the next point. I get that. But Dylan, I need Dylan to answer this question since he's an e-board member. I don't have authorization to make calls, but he does. All right, so feel free to read this in the chat. But like I said, I need an e-board member to make this decision on my on my behalf because I can't make this call. All right, so it depends. Okay, so all right, so it depends on who hit him. So we're gonna make everyone life easier. We're just gonna say. All right. All right, so the person who hit him is out. So I think that's just been the call. Like I said, there's a there's a lot of moving parts. But like I said before, um, okay, wait a minute, okay. So if the play was stopped for the yellow card, no out. Will, was the play stopped because of the yellow card? Okay, so like yellow card. All right, so yellow card immediately. So the play wasn't stopped because of the yellow card. All right, it was stopped immediately. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure we'll figure this out later. This will be a good rule book discussion. With that being said, Jack is the last player in, and here comes Miller seeing nothing but straight blood and a bullet shot, taking my man out. And once again, Ohio is up 4-2 with 856 left in the game. Yeah. That was crazy. Um, sheesh. Yeah, that was a long discussion. Yeah, this is yeah, this is gonna be a good um, rule book discussion. I'm pretty sure we'll chop this up later. Oh boy. Yeah, Miller is cooking. That is that is a fact. That is not an opinion. That's a grown man who just so happens to be a freshman, straight cooking. Do not be surprised if he's going to be on the all-rookie team this upcoming season. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. 
Yeah, he's a freshman. Miller is just a freshman. He is, like I've been saying beforehand, he is the future of Ohio Dodgers. Great kill right there by Schaefer, taking out number 22 from Ohio from that change. Now, with that being said, JMU is currently down by two points. They have to score. Jesus. Well, there goes my line. Jesus. Wow. And check it is hurt. He blocked the crap out of that ball, but he's definitely going to pay the price for that one. Team catch was successful. Uh-oh. Yeah. We might need a timeout. Hey, Kim. All right, he's out, he's out. Can we do it, Dave? Stop, 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 stop. We're not gonna, we're not gonna show the injured player versus Terrence. Check it. Um, he, this, this is an official timeout. Anytime an injury happens, we always paint the camera away from, from the injured person, give them the privacy. What happened in that exchange? Uh, Trent Schaefer threw the ball against Check It. Check It was able to block successfully. However, he kind of did something weird with his right foot. He's he is able to walk under his own power, which is a great thing. Um, but I'm not for sure how his availability is going to be for the rest of the tournament. Um, Terrence Check It is your preseason MVP, ranking at number one. And his value and his contribution on and off the court cannot be explained enough. He is a leader. Um, he is a present. And, um, and they feed off of his energy. Another team catch successful uh, right there. Nope. We need to fix the time real quick. Crap. Bullet shot. That was a bullet shot right there. We'll fix. We're fixing the time right now as we speak. But yeah, I don't think Terrence is going to be playing for the rest of this for the rest of this game. As we're in the process of fixing the clock. But with that being said, if James is going to have any opportunity. Well, there goes my ladder again. I kind of need that, guys. Kinda, I kind of need my ladder. That's a head shot by Garrett. Good grief. Got him. Good kill right there by Patrick. Oh! Miller with another grown man kill, taking out arguably the best catcher for JMU, Nick Floss and that chain. JMU's going to have any shot at even thinking about putting this game into OT. Another catch for Garrett. Good God almighty. Man, the catch machine. Yeah, if JMU's going to have any opportunity whatsoever, they have to get a point. They have to get two points within three minutes. That's just not enough time. It's not enough time, but they don't get catches. Jamie is going to have to going to have to take some risks now. Yep, got him. Woo, bullet. That ain't gonna work. Jamie's gonna have to get at least a kill. He's gonna have to get these kills for four to three minute mark. They're gonna have any shot. God, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo. Woo. Wee. He's, he's out. He's out. Yeah, he, 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 he wasn't. Mills gonna gun him down. Team throw coming up. 
not successful against Patrick. We're now at the five minute mark. Oh, he can't. Oh, Garrett saves his teammate once again. Each. They have to go. Oh, he couldn't. That's another kill for JMU. But Miller's still in the game. No, he got hit. Sheesh. Oh, no. All right, he's safe. He's safe. We're about to hit the 420 mark. Oh, man. Motions are going high. Yeah, 12 at it. Yeah, yeah, 12 at it. Oh, we need to start the clock. My God. All right, fine. We was, able, we was able to get that taken care of. Nope. We're now at the 345 mark. JMU has to score a point within 45 seconds to have any shot at this. Oh, he could not snag it. Great kill right there by Patrick. JMU had to keep on pushing to the metal. Uh-oh. Oh, he could not snag it. Miller with the kill. 319 left. JMU has to get this point. Preferably three minutes within the three. Well, they're not going to get to that point now. But they have to get a point. They have to get this point. Preferably under 230. That ain't going to work. One player left. Oh, no. Woo, he was going for a headshot. Mill was going for a headshot. Woo! Wow! Wow! Against Miller, no less. They got they got a, they got an opportunity. They got they got a little bit of light. But they have to keep going. They don't have time to waste. They have to get this kill within two minutes. 219, 217. That's a kill. They need one more. They got a little bit of time, but they're going to have to push. That should be a ball's over. Ball's over. Oh, man. I know, Jamie, you have quick offense, but they're going to have to be rolling. Preferably, hold on. Dang, damn it. Give me one minute, guys. 208 left in this game. All right, two, eight, we're set. Oh, God, no. Sorry, Jesus. Three, two. All right. All right, so now it's four to three. Four, three. Okay, that's correct. All right, so now two, oh one. Oh, man, I, I really hate technology sometimes. My goodness. All right, we got that situated. All right, so a hundred and twenty-one seconds. That is all the time that JMU has to somehow some way figure out a way how to get back to this point. The score is 4-3 to three now. Yeah, so every everything is now correct. There's a very small chance and I mean it's really small but JMU still has an opportunity still have an opportunity but somehow they're going to have to get this point within 121 seconds this is not a lot of time 
that's not going to help their cause. And rightfully so, Ohio's going to play as conservatively as they want to. They're going to make JMU come up to them. Did, in fact, Ohio, if they wanted to, can just, just really just intimidate their opponents if they wanted to. That's a great catch right there for Garrett. JMU only got two balls. They're going to bleed this time down. Oh, Terrence Chicken is back. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. All right, looks like his foot is okay. That is not going to work. Dang. That would do it. That, that would do it. Great win by Ohio. Now on a five-game winning streak. Won three games at Kent. Defeated UVA in overtime. Will successfully defeat JMU at JMU. To have a five-game winning streak. Just, it just wasn't enough for JMU. They was there, but... Missed opportunities just cost him. And now Terrence Checkett is just, he's just adding to his highlight reel, which he'll be getting later on next week. That's a good team. Oh, my God. Well, he's definitely out now. If he wasn't out before, if he wasn't out before, he was out now because that was a brutal headshot. That's a tough way to end the game. We got Ohio with the win. That headshot came out of nowhere. Four to three. She first win for Ohio against JMU. Surprisingly at the Beast Tournament. Terrence Checkett definitely did his thing. Miller definitely did his thing. Trying to zoom in. There it is. We got a great win right there by the Bobcats. I see you, Logan. I got you, Logan. I got you. We got a great win right there by Ohio. Um, it's a really good team. They had a very tough first half, but second half thus far, flawless. 5 0 thus far, taking care of business. Really putting in that good work, man. You love to see it. So, yeah. Tough. Another close loss for JMU. Um, man, I mean, that's the fourth time. That is the fourth consecutive time that JMU had lost by a point. They're right there. Just got to find a way to close these games out, which – Against good teams, much easier said than done. Way, way, way more easier said than done. I'm going on break. I need to give him some water, something to eat. We're going to have Cincinnati versus Maryland coming up. Complacent. You better take time. 